Yeah, follow at Unbleached TV on Twitter. You can get the uh, oh unknown caller. I wonder who this can be. Hey, who's this? Hey there. Um, uh, hey now. I I just watched your YouTube channel. What do you What are you guys chatting about? Because uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, uh, pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know. What are you guys talking about though? Because it's really cool. Thanks, man. Well, watch, watch. You know, I mean, rewind back like thirty you minutes. I'm not gonna sit here and explain I what YouTube. I do here to you. It's pretty self-explanatory. I know, but it's pretty cool because like you're doing like the long stream and stuff, and like not a lot of YouTubers do that. So props to you, bro. I mean, shit. I mean, like that. I mean, I don't know, man. Fifteen That's hours, cool, man. Man, that I ran across your channel, you know. Yeah, this is what I'm kind of doing too. I'm trying to just do outreach, get people on the on the ship. So yeah, I, I appreciate you. Have you. Like a schedule or something that you come on, bro. I mean, like, well, I do a uh, I do a weekly podcast that you could check out, uh, 9 p.m. every week right here on this channel, and I do sporadic streams throughout the week. What what day? Like during the week that you you know what you can do out, since yeah. since since YouTube is so fun to use and awesome. There's a bell right next to my subscribe button. You just hit the notifications twice. Shut up, you dumbass! You're such a fucking idiot, you stupid. You're a dumb dumb. Aren't wow, you? listen you to Jimmer calling in, pretending to be someone else. Cuntless. You gotta hang up like a little bitch that you are, and you fucking. He finally called in. Hack. Jim, say it. Say it. Bye forever. Forever. Jimmer. Jimmer, bye forever. Yeah, yeah. Guess who is the king, bitch? Me, motherfucker. Yeah. Are you going to hang up on me now? Is you a little pussy? How many Kalanapin did you take to make this call? You're such a little pussy, huh? How many Kalanapin does it take to pick up the phone? How many glasses of wine does it take to call me? You are my bitch. Hey, if that's what you want to think. You know what? Your brother. Your brother. Sorry for him because he was the wrong brother to die. Yeah, we heard that already, a drunk idiot. I am Ian Ellis. You think I'm Jimmer now, but I'm actually Ian Ellis. I turn my back on you, bro. Yeah, that's right, man. It's Ian Ellis. <laughs> Guys, he is he is fully gone. He is fucking. I am the king, man. We annihilated him tonight. He's got nothing. Comic alive with balding fucking hair. I'm the greatest of all, and I have taken over your show. I own it. I own everything. I own your Fortnite. Yeah, I know it's free though, but I own it. Somehow, oh I shit, my, my PlayStation's about I to reset. My fucking comedy. I'm going to be the next Rodney Dangerfield. I'm going to be the next king. Dude, he's oh, lost it. Dude, that's he's you. Thank you. I'm actually the boat. I'm the best of all time. I'm the boat. I'm the boat. I'm the best of all time. Stop it. What was your brother's name, by the way? What was his name? What was his name? What was his name, Brian? Jim, get some sleep. You'll be okay in the morning. Love Penelope Spearhead. What happened? What happened to Ian Ellis? I am Ian Ellis. I'm Ian Ellis. I'm Ian Ellis. I'm Ian Ellis. I'm Ian Ellis. Look at look. This is the equivalent of doing the spin. If you if you listen to Red Bar, you'll get the reference. I'm gonna get on my swivel. Oh, yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. oh, I love you. Oh, I'm jerking off to your face right now. Oh, let me just let me just. Oh, 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 oh. Are we done? Record, motherfuckers. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, give it to me. Where's your mommy? Where's your fucking mommy? Yeah, have me on, cause I'm your entire show. Oh, you called, motherfucker. Oh my god, I love watching you actually play Fortnite. Fortnite is the greatest game. Oh my god. Uh, oh, I love when you play it. Can you keep playing it some more? Oh, daddy. Uh, I'm his daddy now. Oh, oh, daddy. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, I gotta yeah. hit the dude up. Ian that's Ellis uh. Loves you. Ian Ellis is your daddy on the show.
Chicago Mike King, baby. I'm the king of all open mic nights. That's right. I love it. I want you to call me the king. I want you to refer to me as Mr. Radio Report. That's what I want you to do. Okay? I just took over your show. Now you can't even get a I'm letting you talk. Edgewise, dude, because I am. I'm literally a typing a fucking. My name is. I'm typing a DM into my phone and letting you talk, but I guess I can mute you for a minute and let you kind of blow off some steam by yourself. Or... Not yet. I want you to go. I want you to go to the improv because I will never be there. But I will be at open mic night at the shitty fucking comedy club down the street somewhere in Walmart. Or so, I don't know, but I might need to be in LA. I'm the comedy king. I'm going to be the next. Fucking Mitch Hedberg. That's right. Oh my God. I'm so excited to read up. I can go right now. Oh my God. How come you can't handle your alcohol, by the way? Oh, Lord. Oh, it is, Talk Jimmer. Why can't you have it? Do you have anger issues? I'm a do responsible adult you that doesn't. Your mom one time. I think you put your hands on your mom one time. Is it that it? Everybody's entertained now. See, now you're getting more viewers. Look at this fucking the chat. The just... comedy is all here. My name is Ian Ellis, everybody. Check me out at ianellis.com. I am the Chicago Mike King. Check out the king, king of social of media on night. YouTube. Yeah, whenever there's an open mic night, I'm going to be there. That's right. Whenever there's an open mic night, I, Ian Ellis, will be there. Yeah, dude, he's lost there, it. And I will be square. If I'm not square, I'll be triangle or trapezoid. I don't know, but I will be there somehow, some way. I'll be circular. How embarrassing. I but I am Ian Ellis. I am the Ian Ellis, the king of fucking unbleak. That's right. I played... I play that son of a bitch on Bleach because I am the king. My name is Ian Ellis, everybody. I own Unbleach. Unbleach has become my bitch. That's what happened. No. You know what I'm saying? He is my bitch now. And I am Ian Ellis. Don't forget High that. Five. Because High I five. High five. Because in 10 years, I am going to be the next Jerry Seinfeld. That's right. I'm going to be Roseanne Barr. You know how Roseanne just had a reboot? That's what I'm going to be. Jesus I am Christ. going to be Roseanne the reboot. Dude, and you need a right. Writer. You That's need a fucking writer. Like Seriously, you haven't made me laugh That's once. I'm gonna be. I am Ian Ellis. I'm the king. I am able to never be hung. Just like Howard, he needs a fucking writer. Uh, everybody is so intrigued by what I have to say because this shithead host doesn't know how to click the hang up button. Dude, this he is a paranoid schizophrenic. Take over his this is a paranoid. No, I'm letting you embarrass yourself. Well, I gotta nobody mute my. Hear what he's saying because the king of all open mics has entered the building. Yeah, that's right. I have ianellis.com. Make sure you go check it out. Jimmer Nam, everybody. On YouTube. Please go check it out. I just want people to love me for once. I want people, I want the radio report to report on this, even though, yeah, I don't know. But you know what? I just made Unbleach my bitch tonight. I made him my bitch for the past few months here. And you know, Oh, I miss his brother so much. You know, I it sucks that he had an enlarged heart for some reason. I just I know I don't know. I oh just shit! Look at look at I own his show right. I took over his entire show for about eight minutes and twenty seconds. He has nothing to say because I will not allow him to say anything on his own show because that's. I am the greatest. I am the greatest comic of all time. That's right. I am Ian Ellis. I am Ian Ellis. I rule the world of fucking open mic nights in Chicago or Boston, wherever I'm at. Jesus but I love Christ. It. I get a kick out of it. And I am jerking off to this scrawny little piece of shit. Oh, yeah, with his stupid little poster. He got a stupid little printout poster on. Oh, that's what it is, Hacks vs. Hacks. He's doing what you fucks did, and you're too stupid to figure it out. He's making fun of you. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's losing his mind. He lost his Klonopin prescription. Info, Ian Ellis on Facebook. Facebook.com backslash Ian Ellis forward slash motherfuckers. Ian Ellis. Patreon.com. Say it again, forward please. Forward slash Ian Ellis. And also Twitter.com forward slash Ian Ellis. And Instagram.com forward slash Ian Ellis. Yeah, Ian Ellis is my name. Yeah, and I actually have a great relationship with my mommy, unlike Unbleach. But Unbleach <laughs> has now become my bitch. That's what has happened. He has turned into my fucking bitch. And now he can't speak because I will not allow him. I'm to letting speak. you talk. The only way he's going to speak is, is if he actually hangs Fuck. up on me. Because the thing about it is you want me to hang up on you.
And I'm I'm at a standstill. What I'm gonna I'm gonna let the chat decide. So chat, I want a one for a hang up, two for let them let them rant. You got uh thirty seconds. He needs to get it close, right? Yeah, that's right. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He just sits there and he plays Fortnite and he thinks he's so Runescape. so cool and talented, but nobody cares. And he talks about these unsolicited or right. whatever the fuck he talks about, but nobody even knows what he's talking about ever because nobody gives a shit. He talks about content that nobody cares about, nobody wants to watch. And he's so sad, and but I own him now because I tricked him. I am actually Ian Ellis, ladies and gentlemen. Follow me at no, ianellis.com, dot org, dot info, dot net, dot, I mean, fuck, dot unbleach. I don't know. Just keep following me because I am the king. fucking writer. I am the fucking king of all open mics fucking nights, okay? So you're going to see me at the next open mic night. There's a bar over there in Chicago and also Boston, all right? Because I go to the March of Dimes because I'm such a pussy. I go out there and I film myself on my shitty little phone that barely has reception. Cyclops, it doesn't sound like you at all. You sound like a whiny fucking guy off his medication. I'm going to pretend like... Oh, wait, this is a whiny guy off his medication. My car's not... I'm going to pretend, but this is my show. Welcome to my show, ladies and gentlemen. This Didn't you just Ian end Ellis your show Ellis. and almost cry? This is your way to redeem I yourself. Matt, I am the king of Matt. I am the king of I am, I am the king of Jimmernam. I am the king of Jimmer Nation. I have taken over Jimmer Nation. I fucking own Jimmer Nation. Jimmer is my little butt boy. He does what I say now. Just like his brother when he was alive. His, when his brother was like his brother, 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 right brother, 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 you never but lost anything. His brother died. The wrong brother died. Like I said, Oof. all right, his Jimmer is crying. His mom is weeping into his pillow right now because she is so upset because every single fucking time this kid comes home. She's like, why did you not die? Why did the yeah, Hex is an die? idiot. He thinks why this is like the, satire. The one this is literally a guy fucking losing his mind because he can't keep it together. He can't keep it together. Advantage me all the time. This little baby, this little fucking piece of shit. I have to look at his face and wear his Boston Celtics shit, which is stupid because Boston Celtics suck. You know what I'm saying? It's all about Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because I'm me and Ellen. Celtics, I'm number one team in the East. Oh, you know, it's all about Michael Jordan. That's what it's about. Let me tell you a story about Michael Jordan, actually, because this is my show. His like, father this, was murdered. It's talk show that I own now. I. <laughs> yeah, for five more minutes, I guess. This guy, he's my co-host, and I'm just going to shut him up because I'm just going to talk You're over talking him. on a phone. That's what I do. I do this all day. I can do it all night. I can do it all day, and everybody's entertained. I don't think you can do this more than five more minutes. They are grasping. They are just waiting for the next word that comes out of my mouth. Dude, he lost his mind. You know what I'm talking about there, Matt? Oh, Matt, oh, Matt. You know what? Ianellis.com. I want everybody to go there right now. I want you to sign up for the newsletter. I want you to get every single email notification that you get out there. It's all out there, man. I am the king. I am the king of all open mic nights. I am the king of unleashed. Thank you, Ian. Yeah. I am your new master. I am. Matt, boss. Is, that, is that it? Okay, do you want to speak? Too bad. You no, can't I don't want to speak. I want you to talk. Show. Continue, continue, right, continue. So Conti keep talking. Keep, you please. Have lost complete continue, continue, your continue. Your you have lost complete control. I'm going to actually go to the bathroom, take a week. Because I have invaded, and now you're going to run away like the pussy that you are. So go ahead and run away because I am going to take over your show. Maybe you should go to sleep and let me take over so that your viewing audience of 10 people or 11 or 12 or 14, whatever you have in there, I'll go ahead and see this because I am Ian Ellis. I am the Ellis. I call myself the Ellis. I'm the Ian Ellis. I am the king of all open mic nights. I am the greatest of all time. And the only time that you're going to have any use is have I come on here because I am the Chicago open mic night. I am everything. Oh, my God. I know I'm bald. I know I wear shitty clothes. I know I look stupid. I know I have a beer belly and I have a gut. But you know what? Who cares? I'm funny. Everybody finds me funny. Everybody loves me. That's who I am. I am Ian Ellis. What do you have to say about that? 
What do you have to say? Huh? That's right. Oh, he hung up. Oh, that's right. I am, you know, I am the king of all. Oh, okay. He's yeah, still, that's yeah. right. I am the king. I am the king of all open mic nights, and I have just taken over his entire show, and everybody now is listening to the master. All right, the master of Matt, because Matt is sitting in there in his little room with his stupid little shoes behind him. That he, br- how many shoes have you sold? Because I'm sure you sold a ton of shoes to make rent this month. Hello. How many shoes have you sold? I feel Hello. sorry for you that you had to go and sell your No, I'm, no, I'm just chilling. This clothes. guy's and crazy, no, dog. You wear designer clothes for some reason because you're a chick. Yeah, hello? I understand that. I know that is your right, you're, poison. You're you a shitty biker. To hello? wear designer clothes because you're yeah. maybe. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. High beast. Maybe, maybe uh-huh. the wrong brother died of HIV. Maybe the wrong brother died of AIDS. Maybe Ooh. he had an enlarged heart. At least Ooh. somebody in the family had a heart. But you, my friend, you, my co-host, you are my co-host right now. See, I have taken the reins. Hello. Now you're listening to me. Now people are listening to me. Unfortunately, they can't hear you because all you're doing there is sitting there and learning how Dude, an you, actual you... master operates. I am your Master, I am your king, and you are a little bitch. I just humbled you. Ooh. you are. Just like what are you, the Iron Sheik, you just faggot? Like I will humble any of the girls. You probably never had a. If you did, I mean, okay. maybe you did. Yeah, I never had a girlfriend. I heard. <laughs> I am hearing that maybe there is some talk out there that you've been trying to creep on chicks on Reddit. Now, who actually creep? Let's talk about that. Why would you go ahead and uh, think with kids on Reddit? Who uh, it's the same as Craigslist, right? You do it, my sir. Yes, that's right. I am the king. I am Ian Ellis. I am the master. I am the master. Jimmer, Jesus. just say that it's you. Stop being a fucking bitch. Every time I called you, I told you who I was. That one time I called. Because I am the funniest. Stop being a cunt. What's your name, by the way? Oh, by the way, what's your name? I don't give a fuck what your name is because I am your fucking master. You understand? Okay. okay. All right. So now just shut up. Sit there. Try to look pretty. All right. Try to try try to make your try to compose yourself. I know you're feeling. You all you fucking, fucking cried at the end of your show. This is your redemption. Yes, that's right. I am your daddy. You know how you said your daddy left? No, I'm back, baby. The oh, daddy fuck. is back. You know your what I gotta do? Is back. And I am kicking, baby. And I'm going to go over there. I'm going to fuck mommy, okay? I'm going to fuck her for you. I think he tuned maybe, in to the baby cry, and that really pregnant. upset him. So let's, let's play it again for him. And let you have another fucking brother, possibly. Okay. Do you want another brother or sister? What do you want? Do you want a brother or sister? Because well, you would only give there. sisters because fuck you're mommy. fucking... One more time. Daddy loves you. Uh, hey, son. Son? Hey. Oh, good. You. One more time, son. I... Would you forgive me for leaving you? Will you forgive me for abandoning you? Oh, my God. I love you so much. I am the king of all comedy. I am IanEllis.com. I am IanEllis. IanEllis.org.fuckingbiz.info.fuckingshithead. I don't know, but I am the king. Oh, I am the king of open mic nights. We can come over to my open mic night one time so I can bend you over a table and just fuck the shit out of you. I Dude, my chat is so fucking much. crazy tonight. Oh, yeah. I am your daddy. I'm your wow. daddy, Matt. I'm sorry to break it to you. I know your mom was trying to, um, you know, hide me from you, but I'm back. I'm back, Matt. Daddy's back. I'm going to take care of you, honey. Oh, yeah. Oh, what kind of clothes are you wearing right now, Matt? I want to make sure I buy you some more clothes. Oh, Tell me this doesn't sound like this guy. Exactly. Shut up, I'm your there dad. You. I am no your dad. And you oh, bow down to your boy. daddy. He's back. Do that. And he's not going to let you speak because daddy Just owns like you. Just like Jimmer. Dad. 
Daddy is back in town. Daddy's coming. He's going to take you to a Boston Celtics That's game. That's kind of gay. You want to go to New England Patriots game? Is that what you want to Ooh. do? You want to go, go watch the Patriots? Oh, I'm sorry they lost, honey. Okay, but Daddy's back and everything's going to be okay. I know the Eagles beat the shit out of the Patriots, but I know. I know Daddy's back. He's going to make you feel better, okay? All right, so uh, don't worry about rent. I'll pay for rent this month. Okay, honey. Oh, yeah. It's going to be great. You want to go to Disneyland sometime? Huh? You want, you, what, what do you like? Do you like Disneyland or Universal Studios? Huh? Which one? Jimmer, you, like, you huh? lost your fucking shit tonight. Oh, you want to go to Legoland? Okay, you know what? I'll take you to Legoland because, you know what? I was such an absent father. I am so sorry. I am so sorry that I fucked you over. I am so sorry. Okay, maybe it was my fault that your brother died. Maybe it was my fault. When I left, okay... Let, let me let me just open up right now. This is different. Weren't you in the chat and you said this is boring now? You're pretty much trying to fucking overrun me. I'm sorry. I, I got to give him a break. I got to give him a break. I got to just sit here. He's probably got me muted, so let's mute him for a little bit. And uh, do a little chat recap. You all are getting owned. Ooh. We got one guy in the chat who's a Jimmer White Knight. Hacks against hacks. He's literally the fucking shittiest YouTuber in this fucking chat right now. And we got a lot of them right now. <laughs> we wanted to derail his show, and now he's pretending to be Ian. And he's he's trying to get back whatever he lost tonight to us. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll turn him back up. Okay, I am your daddy. Call me dad. He's already said that, so, you know, once he stops repeating himself, uh, may the strongest win. Ooh. I don't think that's going to happen for him. I don't think that's going to happen. I'm going to check my creator studio right quick. Let's turn him back. Beer, because you are a pathetic piece of shit. But, son, I am going to put you in your place. I am going to teach you how to be a real... Do it on your show, fag. Man, you are your cup cold fuck. Yeah, that's right. Oh, it's going to be great. And you know what? Your mom's going to love it because she's going to be like, you know what? Now, finally, I have a son that actually could go get a real job and go make a living and support himself for some reason. Maybe get a girlfriend or a boyfriend. I don't know what you're into. But look, daddy's back home and he's going to teach you every single way of what our fucking... Bloodline knows, man. We are going to fucking prove the world. Oof. We are going to show them that we are actually men. Yeah, that's right. You got you know, today. I know you live in shitty Boston right now, and I know the only team that you can root for are the Celtics, and they suck. Piece of shit fuck. And Kyrie Irving doesn't even want to be in that fucking shit town. Okay. But unfortunately... He that hurts me so much that you're but fucking... But he wants to make his way over to Chicago. Chicago, because that's where I perform comedy. Yep, I am Ian Ellis. I am your actual dad. So this is breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. If you have been following Unbleach, and I'm sure you haven't because nobody does, but if you have, if you're two or three of those people that watch them live, guess what? Daddy has come home. And Daddy, I'm Mr. Unbleach. Call me Mr. Senior Unbleach. This guy won't yeah, let it go. This is Unbleach Junior that you're talking to. Matt is Matt Junior. My name is Matt, too. My name is Matt Ellis. Matt Ian Ellis. That's He's waiting for everyone to literally leave the chat, I bet. And go ahead and check out my website. Once we get ianellis.com, ianellis.net, ianellis.mobi. Say it again, you repeating ass. ianellis.info, ianellis.youtube, ianellis.facebook, ianellis.twitter, bitch, fuck, ianellis.gonzo podcast. Oh, by the way, go make sure you check out Gonzo. Gonzo podcast, because I'm going to jerk off to that. Oh, yeah, baby. But Daddy's home. How do you feel? How do you feel that you've been speaking to Daddy for about 24 minutes? Here. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, I now am going to own all your podcast equipment because wow. you're my son. You Junior. Hey, Junior, how you doing? Huh? Can you go, go, go wake up Mommy because I'm going to go fuck her real good. I'm going to fuck her. I'm going to get her fucking pregnant, baby. And you're going to have a... You're gonna Let have the Klonopin kick in. He'll, he'll run out of fucking steam real quick. I promise you won't be defective this time. I promise your brother will not be defective this time. I promise this time he will live. He will not have that enlarged heart. I promise you. I promise you. Okay? Do you want a brother or a sister? Which one do you want? Huh? Can you pretty promise it? Come on. 
Pretty yeah, promise. Pretty promise. Pinky swear mom. with a kiss on top. Shut up your mommy's pussy. This time maybe we could do that. Maybe we could just shove some X and Y's right up in her cut. How about that, huh? What do you think, pal? What do you think, buddy? Huh? Huh? What do you want to do? You want to play? I know I have been absent for many, many years from your life. Do you want me to play catch with you? Do you want me to throw the ball around with you, the baseball? What do you like? Baseball, football, basketball? What do you want to do? You want to shoot some hoops? What do you want to do, Maddie? Huh? I know Maddie. I did that with your brother, but Ooh. unfortunately he's dead, and Ooh. I loved him more than you. But, Ooh. you know, you're the only thing I have Are you left. Ian Ellis yeah. or my but dad? Which one I'm are you? I'm you're losing your character. You want to go outside and you, you want lost to your character 20 minutes ago, dog. dude. You want me to buy your little puppy? Is that what you want, huh, baby? And come on, tell daddy what you need, man. Tell daddy Ooh. what you fucking need, because I'll give it to you. I'll give you everything, baby. Oh, yeah. You want a little puppy? You want a little kitten? Is that what you want? You want, what do you want? Huh? You want a beta male? Holy fish? shit. Is that what you want because you're a beta male? Is that what you want? Oh. Aren't you the fucking beta male? Oh, you did a whole yeah. show about it? Sudden, you just sit Holy there, shit. You just sit there and you shut your mouth with that stupid little microphone in your mouth. Oh, just like a cock that would be in your mouth. But it's okay, son. I'm, I'm back. Your dad is back. And he's going to teach you how to be a real man. Okay, so don't worry about it. I know you wore shitty clothes. Um, you think it's designer clothes and it got you, you know, your rent paid this month. Great uh, job. But you know what? That's not a real, that's not what a real man does, son. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to be a real man. Ian Ellis, oh yeah, that's me. All right, you can call me Ian Ellis if that makes, if that turns you on, that's what you need to do. All right, because I'm your master. Johnny Frado, you, you know what to do. You Yeah, that's you. Talk about you listen to every single word that I have to say because it intrigues you. It interests you. The only thing interesting no, about you're, you is you're, me. Right you're very now. interesting. Because I own you. I fucking pee owned you because you're a nooblet. You're a newbie. Okay. You, you could just set this on your show like a big boy. man. All you can play with is with yourself and your little mammy. Oh, what happened today? Okay, did she press your clothes okay? If not, I'm going to have to smack that bitch. I'm going to have to smack your mom. If she's been bad to you, has she been you doing your laundry women, today? You creep. Huh? I want to see the video. This is, this is going on a half an hour. If not, I'm going to have to smack her right upside the head. I got fucking uh, so many more hours to kill tonight. Head because I will do that before I fuck her, before I bend her over. I will smack her right upside the head, you know, because I don't want her treating our second son, who we didn't want. We wanted the other kids to be Guys, alive, guys, you are you bored with this? Guys, come on. I don't want to listen no, to any no, more ridicule of me. I don't want my only son to, to, to be neglected anymore because I've neglected him my entire life. I just, I just took off. I was scared. You understand, man? I was scared, man. I didn't know what to do, man. He won't even talk anything, back. He won't have a conversation. Yeah, there you go. There you go, buddy. Keep talking, keep talking, keep talking. I got him on mute. I got him on mute. I got to have my own thoughts for a second. I'm wearing headphones. It's stressful. He's really getting to me, guys. He's hurting like they, like they need it. <laughs> yeah, fucking really. Me. And I'll do that, you know, and I'll stick my uncircumcised penis right up in there and make sure she gets a big load. Ooh, Jimmer's uncircumcised. And you know what I'm going to do, baby? IanEllis.com, by the way. Did I plug my website yet? IanEllis.com, IanEllis.org, RadioReport.com, Radio Report. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, follow me, Ian Ellis, on YouTube. I mean, I am the key. I tricked you. <laughs> you thought I was Ian Ellis, but I'm actually your daddy. You're daddy. actually Jim Nam, who's I'll a fucking... That. Totally lost it tonight. Everybody's <laughs> laughing at you, Jimmer. I really... I, I hope you're reading the chat. You're uh, not reading the chat yeah, because you're a pussy. The reason why you have me on for 30 minutes is because you have nothing else going right. on. And, you, and you ended your show control, early because of me. Control over your no, I, I'm, I you're embarrassing your shit you. right now. I own you. I own you. You wanted this. Dude, he literally has me muted. So why, why am I enter entertaining it? Why am I entertaining it? Just let him burn himself out. He'll eventually think like he talked the whole time. Because he's not watching the live stream. I'll tell you that right fucking now. <laughs> he's not doing any of that shit. Ah, that's sad. A tiny Asian uncut sausage. Oof. Oof. 
I just I need a moment alone, man. I need a moment off of that. It's fucking sickening, this guy. This fucking we're going on twenty nine minutes with him. You rambled all day about Jimmer and Sands. You can't hear half hour about yourself. Oh, you're right, you know? Guy repeating himself. You have never been anything in your life. Because you know what? Let me tell you. I am your dad. I'm your father. So what do you think about that? Huh? You've said that huh? six times. It doesn't matter what you think because I oh. rule everything that you watch. What are you, The true. Rock? Because Jesus. Nobody wants to listen to you. You all that shit about what W E M P F? What the fuck is that, dude? Nobody wants. Jimmer, to how big into wrestling are you? Are you really excited for Ronda Rousey and Stephanie McMahon gimmick match? Okay, everybody, I got a report on unsolicited. Let's go ahead and make fun of unsolicited because nobody knows what that is. But it's a fucking stupid shitty show, I think, on in Boston or something like that. I'm not too sure about that, man. I don't know. I fucking don't know because I fucking you know it. That's right. Jimmer, you're going to be the next headline mass shooting. Yeah, I predict it. That's right, and I am going to smack your mom. I think, I think if you had a gun, it would be a horrible tragedy. Jimmer, don't kill yourself tonight, please. Don't. Don't hurt yourself. I, I promise. I promise you. There will be a light at the end of the tunnel. Life will be so much better if you just don't kill yourself. If you just hang in there. If you just stay out of the mental hospital. This is a guy that spent four months in a mental hospital at some point I gotta I gotta do something I gotta I can't fucking let it go on like that forever and ever and ever well it's not gonna go on forever he's eventually gonna fall asleep from his colonopins Whew. I mean these people love it so why why would I mute this that you have Matt, this is the only human why would I mute that, that? You have right now this is the only fucking phone call that you had. You've never spoke to anybody longer than 10 minutes. That's your rule, isn't it? Oh, I thought it was like 10 minute rule. Okay, if you can't get anything right, then all right, you're right. Oh, you're right. All of a sudden, you're all right. We're gonna revote, guys. Uh, one for hang up, two for let them stay on. 30 minutes. Oh my gosh, going on 32 minutes. You're boring your audience, it looks like. They like, they like you losing your fucking shit. I'm not sure. I am not sure exactly what's going on with you, but Daddy is home, and you like it. You are so happy that Daddy has finally come back, and he is not neglecting you anymore. He is finally paying attention. Daddy is finally paying attention. All right, I got a one and a two. You feel that Daddy is finally paying attention to whatever the fuck you have to say, even though I cut you off because I own you. I mean, I really, truly... You are my slave. You are my bitch. And it's okay. Son, I'm going to teach you how to become a real man because nobody, nobody has taught you how to be a real man. Nobody has shown you the way. So I'm going to have to first go home, smash your mom right up to the head because she did not do a good job in raising you. You know why? Because you're still a shithead. You're still a little dickwad that sits in that fucking little room of yours, okay? And, you know... <laughs> Dan talked about how great your fucking set. Is. No, it's not great. It's actually shit. And you know what? Says the guy oh, hiding I'm behind his green screen. Get a real, real setup, okay, Mister. I don't even know who you are, but you know, you're my little son, and I love you so much. You want to go to Las Vegas one time? I'm gonna take you to Las Vegas. We're gonna go to a club. I'm gonna go get you some pussy. I'm gonna go buy you some three hundred dollar whores over there. I mean, yeah, you're gonna enjoy it for the first time. You're gonna finally be able to spread a girl's legs and stick your little wiener inside of her. And you're going to get so much. Oh, oh, you know what? Maybe, maybe, just maybe, you might swing the other way. And if that's the case, I'm going to have to smack you upside your head. I'm going to have to kick your ass as my son, Junior, Matt Junior. I need to kick your ass and make sure that you, you're on the straight track. Jimmer, please don't hurt yourself. Not. I don't know exactly what you are, but God damn it, man. I, I own you. I fucking own you. For 34 minutes right now, I've been owning you. And I own three hours of your show today, so who's who's winning? I'm the king, man. I am the king. My name is Ian Ellis, everybody. Make sure you check me out over there in Chicago. I'm going to be doing an open mic night one more time, everybody. Make sure you go over there and show over to 34th Street. That's where I do all my gigs and all that. This is real, right? Yeah. 
That's what I do, right? Yeah, yeah. All I do is say the N word because I'm Ian Ellis. I am the most edgy fucking comic ever. That's all I do is use the N word, even though I'm like Jewish or white or I don't know what the fuck I am at this point. They would realize it's not Ian Ellis. No shit. I know that I'm balding. That's one thing I know, and I know I, that I have a fucking dust. Like, that's but it's all good. Come on. This is like, awesome. I'm only what I don't know. That's, why, you know what? that's what it does. It doesn't matter what he does because it's not Ian Ellis. It's Ian Ellis's manager. No, now, now you know how I feel when 73 Matt's call fucking Sanzi's show every night. I know I have not supported that mommy over there, but I'm going to make sure that I touch it's her titties. Nuts. When I get home, I'm going to touch like... her titties. I'm gonna... Dude, this is, this is some serious fucking nerve shit. Like, we really fucking broke this guy. I've never wow. seen a reaction to this. And I've done this to countless individuals. I've had people go... I've had people go to my management um, at the radio station about shit that I did. I've had people go after a couple other things that I'm, I'm affiliated with. Never a, a fucking lunatic, like, rambling like this. Some more little March of Dimes videos in there. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, go I ahead. I went to a mental hospital once for 45 minutes. Mm-hmm. And about 30 of it was waiting, and they only talked to me for, like, and they asked me some crazy questions. Yeah. Like, if you see a, a bus ad, like, is it talking to you? I'm like, well, I see the ad, so... Like no no, does it actually talk to you? I'm like, no, it's a fucking it's a, it's a bus head. And then they're like, oh, uh, so has anyone put a thought in your head? And I'm like, um, oh shit. I'm like, you mean like actually like like told me something? They're like no no no, unscrewed the top of your head and then put a thought in, screwed it. I'm like, and I'm like, you know, I would. My feel head the doesn't red screw. Marks on the side of my head. Yeah, I don't have a screws the there, sir. Yeah, I'm like no. And then they're just like, oh, you're not crazy. You know what they did? They just gave me some Klonopin. They're like, yeah, here, feel this if you ever take this shit, if you ever act like Jim or Nance. Yeah, literally. This guy probably, he didn't take his fucking medication today because he can't afford it. it I never took the Klonopin. It's, too, it's uh, the end of the month. He probably abused his supply and he ran out. And, oh, and he can't. The insurance isn't going to restart until April 1st, so he can't fucking get a re-up until, like, Monday. Oh, shit, he's off his meds, dude, and he's drinking wine. Yeah, well, you know what? This I is a combination. Really... Listen, no one's responsible for that shit, so I really wouldn't be too worried about his schizophrenic breakdown. Yeah, I could care less if he fucking offs himself later. Well, it's like, you listen, the man drinks on the air, and he fucking does his show with the cam hose. Like, yeah, he's a schizo, crazy fuck. And then guess what? How about this? Don't start shit with other fucking shows and other people if you can't handle it. He can't handle it, apparently. You would never yeah. see me call into someone else's show, ever, because of this type of shit. Crazy yeah. people do that type of thing. Yeah, how about don't give out... Uh, other pe don't give out fucking listeners' phone numbers on the air, Jimmer. If you yeah. don't want people to fuck with you, yeah, don't fuck with people. Don't go after Gonzo's podcast or whatever they are. You know, I think he went after those guys. Like that's when I saw him at his worst. I was like, this guy, he, there's something about him that's off. There's something I about have no him. No idea what the fuck Gonzo is. I Me either. Honest, but... Me either. But um. I guess he worked for this place, and they, they, he has a huge resentment against him. I only bring him up because he did, a, he did kind of what I do on them, where he, you know, he watched their show and fucked with them. But it's like... And he did it terribly. What does he want, though? What, what, is he still on the, on the line? Yeah, you want me to turn him up? Yeah. I'm Ian Ellis, baby. Ian Ellis, dad, <laughs> or Ian Ellis, <laughs> Yeah, He's still baby. going. Uh, 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 yeah, baby, that's right. Uh -huh. I am your dad. <laughs> and that's the delusion too. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm your daddy. I, I, you know what? You know what? You're right, Jimmer. You are because you, you really, you helped me expose you. Like you did all the work for me. Yes. I didn't have to do shit. I just sat here at my desk. Yeah, it's like Jim. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you uh, back up for a second? Why did you hang up? Huh? I just, I just want to hear him again. Oh, yeah, yeah. To teach you what, how to fucking react to shit. Because you're such a big pussy. <laughs> you're such a little baby. <laughs> oh, you know. Daddy's got to come in there. The and Dude, this is sadness, too, because I'm off my meds, too, tonight. And I'm completely fine. Like, I haven't, I haven't smoked pot all day. Listen, 
I take fucking medication, right? And a lot of people do. There's nothing wrong yeah, with that. It helps. I'm, I'm a regular fucking guy. See, here's It's a I'm human condition. Right. We all get depressed. We all get sad. We all get fucking, you know, crazy. Well, here's the thing is, I've only ever had anxiety problems. Like, I never had, like... I call it crazy, but like psychiatrists, they don't call it crazy, right? They I, I self-implode. Like, I'll just stop talking to people. That's what I do. I wouldn't do something like this. No, I've never been like this. I would you never I would never act out in such a way that it embarrasses me the next day. I, I used to see a psychiatrist, and she used to tell me, you know, you're not, you're not crazy. And I'm like, yes, I am, because, you know, I can't handle fucking you know I, I get i used to get panic attacks like jimmer and she'd be like no 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 like there's actually crazy people she's like, there's like you're not that fucking crazy she's like on a scale of one to ten you're like one or two and then i'm like well who's who's a ten and she's like she's like yo you gotta understand there are motherfuckers that are like they don't take their meds and they become jimmer now <laughs> And I, you know what the thing was? I never fucking saw who a 10 was. Like, I, I knew, I, I knew she's a, I mean, she's a doctor, so she's seen a lot of crazy shit. Yeah. She used to be like, she's like, yo, I used to, like, work at a hospital. She's like, trust me, you're not fucking crazy. And I never knew what crazy is. And I'm like, oh, this is, this is beautiful. We literally just saw the case study of what crazy is. Yeah, because it's, it was such a foreign I did, like, I, I would, n I have fucking panic attacks. Yeah, I, I've had a couple since my brother passed. Ever since my brother passed, I've had more anxiety. I've had a couple panic attacks. Like, normal. It is, because you're feeling emotion. You're being human. You're not shut off to reality. You, well, here's the thing. You had panic attacks because your brother died, right? Like, mine pretty much just came out of nowhere. It was just, it's something that runs in my family. Yeah. And uh, they just came out of nowhere, but, um... You know, like, Jimmer is like, I, I, this is the shit? Dude. We made fun of your fucking podcast? This like, is a this night terror. This guy is in his sleep right now saying all these words. Jesus Christ. It has to be. I'll have panic attacks, but I don't, I would never, you know what the worst part about Jimmer is, too? Yeah. The fucking fact, the thing that annoys me is how he goes on the air, and he has an entire show. Dedicated to, uh, hell, I had panic. I would never fucking do that. Me either. It's ammo for the fucking trolls. It's ammo for my enemies. You know. Yeah. I'm can I'm candid with my audience, but to a to a point, not to a fault. He's to a fault. No, listen, I have no problem talking about anxiety and all this shit because I deal with it, right? But I don't. I would never. I wouldn't even care if they even knew. Like I wouldn't care if he. Uh, you want to bring him back up for a second? I just sure. like to. I, I, I just don't know. I mean, I try to go to every single fucking open mic night, but I, I just fail all the time. I, I just a piece of shit. I, I, I'm looking. I'm balding. He thinks he's he thinks he's succeeding by being on the line for 42 minutes. This is all I wanted, though. This he thinks is this is a marathon. It's it's a fucking. I mean, he thinks this is a sprint. It's a marathon, motherfucker. We're getting ENL's plugs out there. Yeah. We're getting, uh, you know, unbleached plugs out there like dude i gained 10 subscribers today just by streaming yeah because they're and the best part we have to send this to the cam girls i'm serious yeah i'm gonna clip it i need my editors i'm telling you i need a couple guys i will fucking once once we get the ball rolling dude you'll you'll get compensated but you gotta you gotta be good at what you do i don't want no fucking hacks against hacks videos i don't want no clickbait videos those are all low quality Okay, this is nice though. I like this. I like that. I, I just I can't believe this was enough to break him. Dude, it was too easy. Honestly. That, like, if you, this here's the thing. I'm really thinking if you're like this, you can't fucking you shouldn't be having shows. You can't. Yeah, and one How more gonna... one more thing. I got to pile on to that. Um, he he's exposed the fact like he's unstable. That's what I'm talking about. Like. Those cam girls, how are you going to, how, they can't, there's, there's nothing they can say to this that makes it go, well, you know, he's just a good guy. He's not a good guy. Nope. He's not. Nope. There's a reason why that wife left. There's a reason why he's not allowed to see his children. There's a reason why his dog was taken away. There's a reason What's why he moved, away? and he's not telling you any of that. Yeah, like, dude, uh, fucking, I actually thought... It's crazy. It's hard for me to even have sympathy because I'm like, I used to have, think I was fucked up and I, 
you know, it's just, and now I'm like, no, there's actual people out there that are like this. And I'm like, I figured it out for the most part. I figured it out. This is fucking crazy. Yeah. I'm glad you got to some self-realization by studying this case study. Well, no, because, look, I study psychology. Like That's what I pretend to do while I don't work at FedEx. Uh, but It's a hobby study, right now. Well, pretty much. It's I mean, an interest. They, listen, the school's on strike. What am I going to do, right? Yeah. But the thing is, this fucking guy, this is unbelievable. I never... It's so different when you read about psych, or you're or you're fucking in a biology class, and like, well, this is why it causes, you know, anxiety is caused by an excess of this hormone. Da 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 da. da. Oh, I wanna, and, I want, can I read this off real quick? Fire Jason cool. Kid brings up a real good point. Don't start taking meds; it makes you worse. All drug pushers are there to get you hooked. Big pharma or local crack dealer, same shit. I agree. I you think know it, what, I think if Jimmer was smoking like three blunts. While this happened, he wouldn't give a fuck. He wouldn't be crying on my phone like this. Matt doesn't know I'm a Florida blunt anymore because he is—he needs to try to get his rent together next month. And so yes, he, as, as you know, he doesn't smoke. Jimmer, Jimmer, stop talking about my life when yours is literally in the gutter. Jimmer, did you take your meds he to make sure? He can't any weed. We need to see everybody. I'm uh, holding out just because, you know, being a little I frugal. Like this. He's going to fall asleep eventually, punch himself out. But, you know, like, I was really lucky that the psychiatrist that I got to see, that she didn't push meds on me right away. Right. I never, I never went to anybody that could give me drugs. I think that was my smart decision in life because I should have been, been put on at least some sort of ADHD thing when I was a kid. People thought I was hyperactive and shit. Oh, they did the same thing to me, too. But, look, I, my anxiety came from fucking so yeah. it's it's hard for me to go, oh, just smoke a blunt. But, you know, for a lot of people, it works. But for some other people, it, it doesn't. And the problem is you have guys like Jimmer who they're not going to go see a psychiatrist. They're not going to see a doctor. They're not going to do any of this shit. And they're walking around crazy. And it's yeah. Jimmer. These are the guys that go into schools and shoot them. These are the same guys going to churches and do the same shit. These are people that kill their families and then themselves. It's they're horrible people. You, you know what they are, and the problem is, I we're supposed to have compassion for them. And it's not like not when they go off their meds. Not when they fucking um, are potential hazards to society. Yeah, I have compassion to them, for them to an extent. Like, look at me. I know that if I don't take my fucking anxiety medicine. I get feeling sick. I fucking can't go to work. That I can't go to school. It's like I have. Yeah, stomach you don't want to get out of bed. I have stomach problems because uh, uh, gastro, whatever. My esophagus is all fucked up. You know what I do? I take my fucking stomach medicine. It's fine. Yeah, that's what did Kirk Cobain. Yeah. I fucking try. Yo, I tried to not take that shit for a while. Yo, I got the worst heartburn in, like, ever, man. So you know what I do? I make sure I'm on top of my medicine game. It's just it's just another thing I have to do, which is annoying, but, y you know, you don't get to do J – you don't get to be Jimmernam. Jimmernam's fucking – he really is fucking crazy. Yeah, Can we bring him up again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see what he's saying. Oh, no, he's listening to us. Hi, Jimmer. Oh, shit, he's listening. Or he like put the it. phone down or something, because he just, like, got tired. No, I thought I heard him there. Jimmer, do you Come have a fucking psychiatrist or a, some type of social worker that you yeah. can see? You know, there's a, there's a $30 a week um, text line. You could text your therapist or FaceTime them and get your problems out. Do you need help? Do you have health insurance? Like, you should really think about... Just checking yourself in, bro. You are not right. This yeah. is crazy. This needs to... Dude, what are your cam girls going to say when they hear this? Yeah, are you going to have co-hosts after this tonight? I don't think so. Yeah, and maybe you shouldn't make fun of that uh, guy that you say is retarded. Maybe you shouldn't when you're, you know, doing this. Yeah, you're literally... It doesn't really make you look like the compassionate human being you fucking pretend to be. You seem to be a little bit more of a projecting asshole. Pretty fucking simple. He repeats Jimmer. himself. If you don't, like, yo, if he don't want this life, 
Don't be about this life, Jim. Yeah, don't get on the air and fucking say you're the king of all social media. Don't fucking... Yeah. Don't take calls. Fuck up. I'm now the king of social media. All of social media. I own social media land. Yeah, like, Jimmer, just fucking stop it. You, we, we, we are willing to let all this go. If you delete your we're channels the, and say goodbye for now. We're going to let all the cameras Hold on, go guys. for I got something to this. tell you. One second. But just hang out. Jimmer. Just hang out for a bit. Oh, Jimmer's fucking hang back. Out for a bit. His schizophrenic break is, is over. Oh shit, he's gonna blow his head off. Dude, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, please, Jimmy. Hang up. Just hang up. Hang up, then he can't. No, no, no. Oh, you're a pussy now. You're a pussy. Oh, no, Jimmer. Why did you call him? Yeah, you're a little pussy, aren't you? Jimmer! It's not even Ian Ellis that's doing it, you fucking goof. Uh, but you don't it. drink on your fucking medication. Yeah, you shouldn't I'm drink not... wine on Klonopin. Benzodiazepine is one of the most deadly narcotics on the fucking street right now. And you, you take it literally in 60 milligram doses. I used to work with this guy who used to drink while he would take his fucking medication. And it, nothing pisses me off more than that. Jimmer, <laughs> guess what? Drinking's not for you. I don't drink. Okay, I don't. Drinking's not for you. Yeah. Stop drinking on your fucking medication. You're embarrassing yourself. Yeah, and he's he's the same guy who told me, oh, you couldn't handle your booze, huh? That's why you quit drinking. Yes. No, I'm a responsible hey, adult. How about, this, Jimmer? how about this? Don't call back into this fucking show with your whole group of people on yeah. if you don't want to get fucked with. Oh, it's Discord. I can hear the Discord. Oh, okay. So he was doing a Discord little performance for all his retards as well. Oh, okay, good. It's just like, dude, dude let him let him have some sort of dignity at the end of the day, because we totally stripped him of that when he signed off of his show today. Jesus. So he needs to have some sort of like, oh, I I got a little bit back, I think. Oh, good, yeah. You know, okay. I'm not totally <laughs> fucking defeated. Because people were in our chat going, wow, that really was easy, huh? Well, I don't understand. Well, why did he do this? Um, not with his whole crew, like. Yeah, and why do I have twenty people in my chat at fucking four a.m. in the morning? I I can't believe. It. <laughs> I'm compelling, huh? Is, yeah. Like, fucking he. Phone in the so morning, and I'm zoning. They say I'm possessed. It's an omen. I just don't understand any of that. Like, you, what, what was the point of this? I mean, other than the ENLs plugs, which were very... Yeah, we need more of those. I appreciate it. I'm trying to play a, a package at the end of the show and beginning where it just features Ian and his uh, website. Yeah, like, the, just fucking... Just, how about you do your own show? You pretend to be Jimmer. You be Jimmer, and then we don't fuck with you. Wait, 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 hold up. Does. Cyclops is in the chat. He's going, ooh, two on against one. Not right. Well, I'm kind of... Right, hang up then. No, no, no. Don't hang up just yet. Don't hang up just yet. I, um... He wouldn't let me talk. Jimmer had four against one, so... Yeah, he went four against one. And he always does that. He never fucking has his people shut the fuck up when he tries to go after people. And he's, he didn't call in to have a dialogue. He called in to b fucking yell and scream like a manic fucking depressing case that he is. He's, he's, a, he's shook is what they call it. He's, yeah, he's, a, he's got a lot of fear running his life. That's why he ran away from wherever he was. That's why he stayed in a roach motel and ate crackers and tuna for fucking three weeks. While his yeah, dog, it, while his dog ate fucking uh, like actual food, I did that once uh, recently when I was waiting for insurance money because I was fucking sick. That usually yeah. happens oh. too when you get evicted from an apartment and you can't yeah. get another one for the next month. Yeah, Jesus, Jim, like try being homeless. It's not that fucking bad. Yeah, dude. If I had a car, I would have lived in it. Especially in Los Angeles. Holy shit! Oh. The fun yeah, I could have. Is. The fucking, yeah, you don't, have to, you don't have to worry about, we're from the northeast, like, we gotta worry about possibly freezing at night. Jimmer just gets to fucking... You could sleep you know, on the beach in L.A. Yeah, like, there's a lot of... Venice Beach is, like, the homeless capital, because, and they live in style, baby. It, it's, it's better to live in homelessness 
in fucking LA than it is to be renting in New York City. Fuck yeah, go go subscribe right now to Burger Planet on YouTube. The guy lives in a van and he IRL streams from his phone. He's great. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's Discord. Hey, everybody. Hi, uh, Douchecord. Jimmer, can we get an Ian Ellis plug? Are there any Ian Ellis news today? You know what? If Jimmer wants to just do a show, we'll be your co-host. You get rid of all the hoes and the retards. <laughs> Seriously, I'll do it. I'll fucking do it with you, Jimmer. I don't really care. I got nowhere to be right now. Just fire it up. Get the Jimmer Nation going. We can get. The, yeah, the we'll call it the Unbleached going. Nation now. Yeah, what are you gonna do, Jimmer? Come on, Jimmer. Jimmer. Jimmer, say something. I think he's dead. Okay. All right, Jimmer. Well, it was nice knowing you, man. I'm glad your uh, your show's over and whatnot. Jimmer, delete the channels. Oh, uh, what? This is chaotic. He's just yelling, though. I don't know. I can't really hear anything. And I got headphones on. He was yelling something there, something. I hope he's live streaming this. Yeah, well, is he live still? Jim, or, or, sorry, Ian, wait, Ian Ellis. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Hang on a sec. He oh, maybe he only responds to Ian Ellis now. He kept saying it's Ian Ellis. Ian Ellis. Oh my God, it's Ian Ellis. Oh, I think he's watching a game. Show. What game show is he watching? I don't know. When I think of all the memories I have, you know, as a guest and as a listener more than anything. I think he's watching one of those Christian missionary, like, mornings. He's insane. This is beautiful. He's gay. Hey, Jimmer. Why do you own being a beta now? Let's just get it all out, dude. We can talk about your psychotic break then. Yeah, we what can all be friends at 5 a.m. Let's take an hour. Let's all become friends. What? Yeah, we can end all this. I, I didn't hate him until I saw how he treated listeners. Yeah, I didn't hate him until he got free cam shows. <laughs> and then lied about it. Yeah, and then gave away free fucking cams. You know what Jimmer should have done? He could have been, you always see those ads on like porn sites or even regular sites where like, do you want me to tell you how to get free live cams? <laughs> he fucking had Jimmer just do the ad. Hey, first off, you got to pretend to be Howard Stern. Second off, you go off your Klonopin. Third. You dress like a biker. You don't shower for six months. Yeah. <laughs> you look like a grease ball. You eat cans of tuna. You eat cans of tuna with fucking cheap crackers that are included with them. You don't just buy a bunch of cans of tuna and some crackers because it's cheaper. Uh, first off, Jimmer, do you know what it is? It's supposed to be um, smoked salmon and tuna and uh, crackers. And you don't get cheap crackers. That's actually like... Right. Get, get a can of good tuna and fucking just buy some Ritz crackers. It's cheaper than that package thing you bought. But I'm saying you don't... No, no, no. But like it's actually like a... Not a I wouldn't call it a delicacy. I wouldn't call it that, but like a high class snack is smoked salmon and like good crackers that are not like welfare. That's right. a, a higher class snack than the fucking Cheetos. Oof. You know, I, I like smoked salmon with crackers, but I'm not eating tuna. What the f like, why tuna? What? Because you can fucking give it to a cat. Like, Jimmer, do you have any fucking real friends? Does he? Seriously, this just sounds like a guy who's lonely. Cyclops tell me Venice Beach is dangerous. Duh. Is it? Isn't like LA dangerous, dude? You gotta be a yeah. dangerous person out there. Yeah, go to Inglewood or something. You shit. gotta be a fucking alpha in LA. Yo, Jim, are you want me to manage you? I'll manage you. <laughs> I'm already managing like three or four shows or whatever. Yeah, he's a good I'll manager. Manage you. I'm good. I'm good. I, you know, I'm more like a wrestling manager. I don't actually really get people gigs, but I kind of help beef up their persona. Yeah, it's a kayfabe. Although we did get Ian Ellis a gig. I did manage to get Ian Ellis a gig. I couldn't believe it. Mm. He's doing some show. Uh, I don't really remember what the fuck it was. 
But, you know, there's a couple different managers. I'm the main one. There's a couple other two. Oh, he's from Orange County. He's not from L.A. Oh, okay. But our, uh, the O.C. is real close, right? You could just fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. jump in his car and be homeless in L.A. for a month. I would have did it. He, Jimmer, you know what you can do? They're building a new football stadium in Hollywood Park. Okay? Inglewood. Just go fucking see if you can help build the Ram Stadium, man. You get yeah. yourself a job. You know? Yeah, and then you can get yourself a job at Ram Ranch. Yeah. You know, you can start Absolutely. hanging out with the 18 Cowboys. Oh, shit, dude. I forgot he hung up. He hung up on us. Hello? Jammer? Jammer, man? I think he's just watching, like... Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> well, now he's watching TV, I guess. Cyclops I like lives in LA, Hollywood. Wow. Dude, I'm coming out. Do you have room in your apartment for me? To sleep on your air match? I'm just kidding. I seriously, though, I want to uh, stream snipe Ice Poseidon. I think that'll get me over in the world. I don't even know what the fuck that is. I like that Jimmer's doing a TV, uh, listen, watching TV. Jimmer, could you turn the volume up on your TV? We'd like to listen in. This is cool. I like this See, and this is quick, great because this is like Jimmer trying to own us, but this is what I wanted. I, right. I like he literally, he exposed how crazy he really is, and not in a good way, where it's, like, intimidating. It's pathetic. It, I, no, I don't think it's pathetic. I think it's fucking great. I like that he's watching TV. Now. He's watching, like, over-the-air antenna TV now. KTLA, whatever the fuck it is. No, I think he probably gets cable and internet bundled. Oh, oh yeah. He's one of those cheap assholes. He doesn't know how to stream shit for free. Yeah, exactly. He's got to fucking yeah, pay for cable and be a brain dead idiot, fucking just clicking, isn't he living like Fresno? clicking through the channels. That's what someone in the chat says. He's in Fresno now. Oh, he's in Fresno. Oh shit, Fresno. So on he's the Bulldogs. He, he's on the Butner. That's where uh, Derek Carr played college football. Yeah, go Raiders. You a Raiders fan, Jimmer? I don't think Jimmer watches sports. I don't think he's a real sports guy. Yeah. He made fun of sports, so. Oh, he did? Yeah, he dissed my fucking Celtics, dog. Oh, okay, this is Celtics. Wow. Jimmer. Thong Vang, guilty of attempted murder in Fresno jailhouse shooting. Hey, Jimmer, can we get a different channel on this fucking thing? He's he's turned up. I think he fucking tuned out, bro. I think he, Yeah, he hung up again. Oh, my God. So, so he, that's his big thing, is he's going to keep caught, like, just like when he... When he called me, he left a message, and it's just like, ooh, with all his people. Here's know. here's the thing. I think I'm going to step my game up with phone calls on this show. I'm going to get the uh, the phone screener software. Okay. Yeah. I like that. It basically, the person takes a message for you. It, it, voice, it takes the uh, voice and puts it into text, and you can read what the person wants to say on the show. If it's no good, I don't go to you. As simple as that. You know, you know radio calls suck. For the most part. For the most part, are calls are fucking terrible and a waste of time. Probably about 10% of calls are good. Right. Because, you know, what 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 you what can you say on a call that you can't say in the chat box? Or through Super Chat, TTS. That's what I have, TTS. Well, we couldn't listen to Jim or watch TV. Huh. So, <laughs> that's one thing you... That's why we need calls. That's true. Cyclops, we hate him because he lies. Yeah, he's a complete. That's why he's he a facade. Lies to people, and he he is very mean to his fucking callers. He's very fucking mean, and he does schemes. He's a scheming liar. That's why we don't like him, Cyclops. Like I, I wouldn't like my dad if he did that shit. Yeah, I don't like my own dad. Okay, well, you know why? Because your dad's Jim or him. Yeah, he's definitely he's definitely You're a guy Jim like him. him. Your Jimmer name's kid he can't see. Right. Well, according to him, he's the daddy now, you know, so. What? I mean, he did, you know, he put me on. I totally fucking dethroned him. I'm kind of like, uh, at the end of Carlito's Way. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Benny Blanco from the Bronx. I 
don't even remember that movie. I mean, I've seen it a couple at the, times. At the end of Carlito's Way, he's running on a train track with his girlfriend to, to leave the oh, city yeah. forever, and Benny Blanco caps his ass, and he dies. This is good. Okay, yeah. He gets his revenge on him. Because he didn't respect he didn't respect a young gangster coming up in the game. I just, yeah, and then Carlito, I talk like this. I talk yeah, like baby. Ideas. I'm not going to be able to see the stars tomorrow night with you because I'm going to the fatal four-way in heaven, baby. Um, it's getting dark over here, but I'll see you on the other side. I hate that character, Carlito. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean... I hate the character of Jim or not. Just be Jim. How about you do that? Just be Jim. Yeah, dude, I love when I love when people diss the shoe collection too. Oh, what Supreme? And, and well, the, Supreme's gay, but you know that's cool too. Dissing you do that. own a lot of Supreme, though. Yeah, but I got rid of most of it. I'm done because I don't want to be associated with the people who wear it now. I, you know, I fucking hate hype beasts now for some reason. Like I don't want to wear my Yeezys ever again. I I want to get rid of them. Like. It's kind of a lifestyle change I'm going through. I have no fucking idea about any of that shit. Exactly. I feel like an old man, and I'm okay with the fact that I'm going to be 27 in a few months. And Jesus Christ, I'm 27, you fool. Okay. So stop you calling go. yourself old. No, I, I'm... Well, the thing is, I'm 27, and I'm not... I'm just over halfway done my degree. I'm still in university, like... Because I work... I do this shit. Yeah, that's a tough way thing. to do it. I can't fucking relate to, like, any of my classmates because they're all... Now, some of them, in, like, a year, gonna be could be 10 years fucking younger than me, and I'm just like, do you guys even remember 9-11? Like, no? Yeah, where were you that day? Did you fucking... I remember where I was in fucking grade 5, and then I just remember they, came, they let us all go early. They're like, yo, go home. Dude, you know what's fucked up about my grade five? We uh, They didn't tell us about 9-11 until we went home, and I was a latchkey kid. So when we got home, nobody was home. We had to let ourselves in and wait till 4 o'clock. Oh, dude, they did that with us too, but I yeah. like... I turned, I turned on Fox Family because that's what we watched, and <laughs> fucking, they're talking about 9-11. I'm like, what the fuck happened? I was just at Logan Airport the day before uh, with my grandfather, sending him off back to North Carolina... I was so freaked out. I'm like, please tell me Grandpa's okay. That's all I cared about. I, listen, I'm in a fucking school in, uh, like, fucking Canada, and they're just like, oh, look, who knows? We could be bombed. Who knows? They That's fucked up. They let us go at, like, 1.30. I live three, do three doors down from the school, so I get in there, and I'm just waiting for my fucking parents to come home. That's... And it's just 24 hours... Yo, like some crazy shit went down, blah, blah. And I'm like, I'm trying every channel, cartoons network, they're doing this shit, comedy network, every fucking channel. Yeah, they were all fucking scrolling. Tune yeah, into so Fox to hear about what the tragedy happened in New York City. Oh, okay, we got it. Yeah, Osama did it. We know. It's, it's fucked up. Like, it sucks, but whatever. You know, in J Jamatron, I really think. Nah, I was gonna say let's call Jamatron. I just want to know what he's up. I want you to call back, Jimmer. Yeah, Jimmer, if you're listening, could you go to ESPN if you have it? Yeah, I want to hear the sports. Uh, I want to see how all the basketball teams did tonight. Today was opening day. Ba -na 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 -na. Um, little sports. Update on you know how everything went in baseball land. You know, I'm a big baseball fan. Not like I used to be, but nah, I'm a big baseball fan. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. reminiscing where they were on 9-11. Oh, fuck. I, I remember seeing the jet fire fighters flying over Massachusetts, dude, that day. What? Yeah, I, I remember the jet. We went out to recess that day. That's fucking crazy. They didn't let us go home. They they kept it from us. That's fucking crazy. See, I, live in a, I lived in a town that's like, it's two hours from Toronto, it's two hours from Detroit, it's right in the middle, and... I just remember they're like, you know, Toronto or Detroit could be, like, nuked, so everybody be I'm like, you, like, I remember thinking, I'm like, because I'd only, I've only been to Detroit, I'm like, Detroit is going to get nuked? Like, they fucking, the teachers did, they didn't do anything to fucking calm our nerves. They're like, you know, Toronto's a big city, it could be attacked, That's Detroit, oh. 
Yeah. TSA is doing a good job, too, fucking creating fear. I, would, I wouldn't know. I haven't been on a flight in, like, seven or eight years. I don't fucking know. Whatever. It's easy to get medical weed on a plane now. They don't give a fuck. You can you can buy weed on a plane? You can't buy it, but you usually... Oh, I thought you fucking meant you can buy weed. No, last time I flew out of Massachusetts, I brought my, my medication with me, and fucking no one gave me a hard time at all. Crazy. I didn't fly back out of Kentucky with it though. I made sure I finished all fucking. I I brought like sixteen grams with me, dude. You for the cr- week. You know, when I was a kid, and it was like a year or two after nine eleven. I get on a flight and I'm using the same backpack I did for for school, and fucking I get to the airport and I'm I I forgot my protractor set in the fucking bag. Oh, yeah. And they fucking hauled me off for, like, questioning for, like, ten minutes, which was, when you're a kid, is a lot. And they fucking, they held my protractor set. And, like, I'm sure I'm on, like, a terror watch list now. And now you can fucking bring weed on a plane. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, you can bring a lot of things on a plane. As long as it's, like, they know about it. If they went through my bag and saw it, I would have showed them my med card. I would have explained myself. The, the worst thing they could do is get the police involved, and the police would be like, the fuck, it's legal here, what are you going to do? Yeah, okay. The That's TSA fucking- has no fucking, they don't look for drugs, they're looking for anything that can damage the airplane. Yeah, yeah, like, wh- why would, I mean, the dogs fucking are there for the drugs. Customs are the people looking for drugs. No, I walked past a dog, dude, they're, they're sniffing for bombs. Oh, okay. I walked right. I walked right past the dog, dude. I was kind of nervous because I was like, "Oh, if he sniffs my bag, they're gonna fucking ask." That's all. That's the worst that's gonna happen. What's the worst they can do? They can just take it. Yeah, if they took it, I would have been out like what, fucking couple hundred bucks. That's the thing. Cops like they don't even. I don't know. Like in Canada, where I live, uh, they fucking. What are they gonna? All they do is they just take weed from people. They don't fucking. Even if it's even it's apparently going to be legal by like the middle of the summer, which is not going to fucking happen. Uh, it's mostly fucking. They've already well, they've already been pushing it back and pushing it back. Like legal for rec anything you want, recreation, go right. crazy. But they keep pushing it back and back. So it's it's not going to fucking happen. It's probably just going to be like you, there, we have weed stores in fucking Canada. You can just go in, and sometimes they get raided. Doesn't matter. Wait, all you got to do is go to a doctor, and they'll fucking give you a prescription. They don't even care. Doctors really don't care. But, uh, the fucking thing is, like, all that happens is the cops will just take weed from you. Yeah. Even if you have it legally, they can go, ah, you have too much. And we were sitting rolling a blunt in a fucking, in my car at the time. I just got my learner's permit back off of suspension. And, uh, fucking the cops rolled up on us. We were rolling a blunt, of course. They knew what we were up to. And yeah. they fucking, they got us. They never looked... They never checked my license. They basically just wanted us no, to, just, to forfeit the weed. Pick up. Yeah. How they... fucking crazy is When I was in high school, I remember uh, we were behind a 7-Eleven, and a friend of mine, he fucking had, he, I mean, everyone was balling. I was the, oh, I hung out with stoner kids, but I didn't, I didn't smoke weed at that point. Just, you know, it wasn't my thing. But I remember the cops, would they came, and it's happened a couple times, and they would take the fucking weed, and then they would go behind 7-Eleven, like, after we all left, and they were fucking back there smoking. Like, what are you going to do? This right. is, like, not everyone had a camera phone, so it's not like... Yeah, no like, one's going to believe now. you. We're the fucking police. Yeah, they're like, well, the police do what the fuck we want to do. Yeah. Or, or they, they bring it home to their wives. Let yeah, them smoke yeah, yeah. it. Oh, the boy. The fucking room. Anyway, I, uh, I'm going to bounce. He's and, fucking... Uh, he legitimately know. burned himself out tonight. Pretty bad. I really wish I kind of kept him on to see if how he did it, how we. Uh, hey, he needs to stop doing that fucking show. Seriously, it's not even about the ultimatum anymore. He needs to stop doing that fucking show. Yeah, it's it's bad for his mental condition. Look at Jack the Ripper. He says I've had one pull a gun on me, so it means a cop, and accuse me of stealing my own car. That's sick. You did you have a? Do you have bad plates or something? Yeah, there's something uh, he's not saying about that. Dude, you don't you don't just get pulled over and have a guy pull a gun on you. And they always do that on GTAs. If you fucking if you're a suspected car thief, they're gonna pull guns on oh, yeah. you. 
This is fucking... What did Cyclops say? Wearing a gun on... Yeah, yeah, it's usually the gun that fucks with their heads. Because it, it's crazy. Like, where I live, I live in fucking Toronto or whatever. And, like, some... You know who the best cops are? Jamaican cops. Black guys. Because <laughs> that none of them are... Do, mo, the Jamaican ones. Not black guys that, like, if it lived in Canada. But... The Jamaican ones, they don't give a fuck. They're all just chilling and shit, directing traffic, like guarding or doing fucking directing traffic around uh, construction sites. They don't give a shit what you do. Right. They're great. It's true. You know, it's fucking. Honestly, they don't like doing paperwork too. Yeah, they don't. At the end of the day, and any arrest that makes them look better in their supervisor's eyes, they're gonna make. If it's a petty thing, they'll let it go. Uh, Do you know what? Let me tell you something. Uh, Jamaican people in general are fucking great because they don't give a fuck. Like, you know how many times I've gotten on the subway free just because they don't want to count the fucking change and shit? Yeah, I do fuck. that too. I always pay with quarters and half the time they let me on the fucking train for free. Yeah. I, I remember one th- I remember one time uh, it, was, it was the fucking police, the subway police guy, and they're real cops. It's not like not real cops. And the guy, I, get, I, I was like, yo, I only got like 35 cents and the fare is like 350. <laughs> he's just like, he's just like, I'm not seeing nothing. I'm not seeing nothing, man. That's and then, awesome. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's fucking great. So, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to bounce. All right, man. And, Say hi uh, to Drake for me, OVO and shit, yo. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I, I fuck Drake. Anyway, yeah, he uh, sucks. Yeah. You know what they were? You, you know what they were playing at that gun rally? Uh, that anti-gun rally, the march, over and over again on a repeat. I don't know. Like we have rallies and shit here, but I don't. In Canada, like the only people that are political are like fruitcakes. Like people look at them kind of like, what the fuck? Like you guys give a fuck about that shit? Because we, are, everyone's got free health care, so. Them pretty much like it covers a good 85 percent of everything you need so nobody gives a sh- there's no they, they there's no fucking re any, anyone that's involved in that shit like if you go to okay when they had their black lives matter rally whatever the fuck you want to call it right like 99.99999 percent of black people didn't go to that they're just like what oh okay like, like it's just no one's we're not into activism so it's really weird for me to see it yeah. I'll tell you something. Check this out. My aunt, okay, my aunt, she lives in Kentucky now. She used to live in Boston. Uh, but she's from Canada. When she was in high school, she got a what you, uh, a scholarship to do track and field at fucking Oklahoma, Oklahoma State or whatever. She goes there. She's running, doing all this crazy shit that track and field people fucking do. Mm-hmm. Then uh, the Atlanta Olympics come, and Team Canada wouldn't take her for whatever, but they wanted her to be an alternate on the U.S. track team. She goes, no, nah, I don't want to. All this shit. So she goes to America, starts her whole fucking life over, basically, right? And all she does now is, and she always has, is bitch and complain about every fucking thing that's going on there. We have too many guns, healthcare, blah blah. It's oh my like, god! I was like, yo, like, she's she's converted what? to a liberalist. But the, it's it's like she wouldn't get her. She she's lived in the U.S. for longer than I've been alive, so at least thirty years, right? Yeah. And she wouldn't get her U.S. citizenship because, uh, in if you when you're applying to be a citizen, you gotta have a you have to say you'll take up arms if there's like an insurrection, right? No. And my aunt in the military in Canada had to go, yo, you know that arms could just be throwing a rock, like it's right. whatever you have. She wouldn't be a citizen for like 10 years extra because I can't pick up arms. Uh-huh. And now fucking she's a citizen. She votes. Uh, Hillary Clinton's amazing. It's, you live in, you moved to Kentucky. Yeah, no one's saying that in Kentucky, by the way. Yeah. She moved to Louisville because uh, she's a math professor. Maybe in she's, the bigger cities like Louisville, yeah. Well, no, she, okay, she used to teach math at, like, Boston College, and then Duke, now uh, Louisville. Uh, all her entire fucking life is 
is bitching about everything America. And I'm like, why don't you just, you, you chose to live there. I didn't choose to be Canadian. I'm fucking born here. I like it or not, whatever. If you don't like America, no one's making you live there. And she, oh, well, you know, I helped cure some types of cancers with all this math shit. It's like, you, you don't think Canada would, would take you to help cure cancer here? You don't think they, like, it, it's not like you have a, 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 a skill that everyone has. You could leave. Oh, but I've built a life here. Well, then shut the fuck up. Right. Look what America gave you. They gave you a fucking university degree. They gave you a master's degree. They made you a professor. They gave you a great paying job. They and you, you're in the thing. best country in the world doing that. Like, there's <laughs> Indian doctors who move here and start all over again. Thank you. And you get a fucking, you get a fucking, uh... What you like? You have a pension. You're you. You were a tenured professor at like Boston College. You you didn't even have to leave. You could have stayed there forever, and you would have. You can't. You can't fire tenured professors. I don't know if you know that. You can't fire. No, you can't. Once and you once like, you make America's, tenure, you got your pension. You got everything you need. America's giving you everything. They wanted you to run in the Olympics for them. Oh, shit. And what do you do? You fucking complain. Oh God, we don't have free. You, you know what? Because they're not us. I don't, America is not Canada. I don't know if you fucking know that. Why is it the rich people with good jobs complaining about shit like this, too, by the way? Yeah, like, you I know? fucking... They've never seen a real ho uh, homeless or poor person and what, what they're really yeah. worried about. They're not worried about their health care right now. They're worried about, you know, where they might shit that's not a, gr a part of the ground, um, maybe. Where they might sleep that isn't a fucking uh, sidewalk. Things like that. This is we a couple of years ago. It was Christmas, and I downloaded that movie Concussion. Well, it was still in theaters, and we we're all watching the movie Concussion. And I love football. Okay, her husband loves football. And what the fuck did she do? Oh, this sport is so brutal. It should be. A, we gotta get rid of it. It's like you, you, you don't like it. Right. But guess what? Millions of people like football. Go away, men and we're women. Not making you watch it. Everybody. I don't fucking under. I just. I don't. I and and she sees no problem with hockey. No fucking problem. Even though it's like the same fucking thing. Yeah, they have sanctioned fighting. Yeah, well, who cares? They I let they let hockey. the guys fight until they're uh, out of breath. You know. Yeah. But, yeah it's, oh, but that's fine. Yeah, okay. That's okay. Yeah. Hey, it's just. I gotta tell you though, the NHL sucks now because they they've stopped doing that as much. The coaches, I think they've been told not to. Not to get the crowd involved anymore by fucking inciting a quick fight. Yeah, I, I don't know because I haven't really watched hockey since about 2004. That's like the hack way to get your fucking home team behind you is, is you get a good fight going. Yeah. It's and you have your guy it, win it. But then it's like if you lose, you look like a dick. No, but they, they still get into it. They're like, oh, shit, you know, the violence and stuff, it takes away from that. I Look, I like hockey video games, but I have not watched an NHL game since 2004. I haven't watched a hockey game since then. Um, I'm the same way. I, I fucking played hockey probably at least 18 Listen, hours a week. I haven't seen a basketball game since Charles Oakley was on the fucking Raptors. Oh. It's, yo, I went to the Air Canada Center like a couple of months ago or whatever the fuck it was. It was a lacrosse game. And I'm walking around the, bu the bow of the Air Canada Center and it's all different because I haven't been there for 20 fucking years or whatever. And I'm like, look, I haven't been here since Charles Oakley was on the fucking team. And all the people who are, like, my age that work there, who, who's that? I'm like, you don't, there you go. 2002, motherfucker. Whatever. Anyway. Ian Ellis dot com. Ian Ellis. Ian Ellis. Add Ian Ellis. Uh, Joe Booney uh, Sports Show. <laughs> Shout outs to Joe Booney. Uh, shout outs to fucking, uh, Unbleached, a.k.a. Broke Bar, a.k.a. Salute. Bitch, Bitchburg? No, 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 you, uh, Bitch Bar, that's what, right, wasn't that? I came up with bar? Bitch Bar. Bitch Bar? Someone came shout up with out. Gay Bar today. I, I, I think Bitch Bar is, because if, if Ian Ellis is going to be, um, Bitchburg, you know, Bitch Bar, whatever, uh, sh who else do we have to give shout outs? Shout outs to Jim Renee. Jamie. Shout outs to 
Shout outs to Rice Stern. Shout outs to Mark Glister's tits. Shout outs to fucking Jessica Jade's slant tooth. Um, I think that's about it. Tara's bum's tooth gap. I don't know. I have to look her up. You know what? I want to see her. I've never seen this bitch. I don't know the fuck she is. I just what's oh, her name? Tara. T A R A. T A R A. Um, actually. Uh, Sayans, go on Sansy's uh, Twitter. He retweeted her Twitter. You can get her Twitter from there. I'm sure she's got a few photos. Okay. Uh, I'm not even on Twitter. See, I'm, oh, okay. fucking, I'm one of the only people who fucking doesn't use Twitter. I'm it's, one of the only people that... Uh, what, what else don't... There's so many fucking things I don't use. Twitter's uh, horrible, man. I'm surprised no one's moved on to something else by now. I don't use Reddit. Uh, fucking, I have, I, I'm completely detached from this fucking generation. Yeah, I felt the same way for years. I you gotta, no you gotta embrace it somewhere. You know, you gotta... uh, his Twitter's down. Who, I need who's to see his? this. No, it's saying, I need to see this fucking bitch or I won't be able to sleep. Say because... any... All right, I'll put it in the chat. Yeah. Put it in the chat. Because I can uh, post links. Yeah, you use Gab because you can't use Twitter. You can't post anything that's not fucking, like, liberal jargon. If it goes against that grain, someone reports it. You get your Twitter taken away. I just... If anyone who's, like, in the politics is fucking creepy. Oh, totally. Very... It's just... It's, it's you, know, you know what? I, I gotta disagree a little bit. It's people who take it to a, um, a polarizing stance where it's like, all right, I side with everything. That um, yeah, because, no, that the left like, about, or I decide I, I, that everything the right is doing is is proper, you know. But because it's just politics is just sports for nerds. It's identity like, politics. It's, just, it's like I, this is what I am, so therefore I join this group. I'm a part of this, and I can't go against it, or you know, basically ostracized. Yeah, but I'm like I'm a Raiders fan. You could just like why not just like I this is why I tell people like when they get in these stupid fucking and my, the school I go to is unbelievably social justice. Poly, it's unbelievable. That's every my college whole, though in 2018, man. Everybody. No, no, but it's even more than even any of them. Colleges are all it, safe, man. No, but I, my whole life lives pretty much within a square block. Like my job. My fucking school, and I live uh, at the edge of campus. I live in an apartment. It's very nice. All that shit. But I, I can't escape politics, and I just tell people, guys, you could just, we could just, you can co come to my house. We can watch an NFL game. It'll, I'll put, I put college football on. We watch football. Everyone has a good time. There's no need to watch to get into this shit. Oh my god, guys. Uh, all right, I'm on Sanzi's. Um... Dude, dude, you're going to shit your pants when you hear this. Right. I'm on Sanzi's Twitter right now. Uh -oh. He did a walk and talk video for three minutes. You want to hear some of it? I would like to hear, and I'm, I'm praying he covers the Jim and Ann mental breakdown. No, he didn't, he didn't do a video yet. I'm saying he did a, um, a walk around so, today, 20 hours ago. So that was earlier this morning. Oh, shit. 8.22 a.m., okay. March 29th. So this guy, it's confirmed he doesn't work. Well, um, you know, according to him, uh, in his, I mean, I've asked him this before. I mean, according to him, everyone in his town works at Burger King. Yeah. Except him. And I asked him, is it, do you have like 10 Burger Kings or is it one giant? But he can't answer the question. I want to know. I want to know. I want to hear some of this. Let's check it out. How many Burger Kings are there? By the way, where is this Tony guy? Yo, Tony, why don't you call on this show? You gonna come in, you gonna say that, hey man, you like, um, you know, don't wanna go after Dude, anybody. that's his fucking sidewalk. Holy shit, in front of his house. Okay. Oh my god. Fuck, I hate this street. Right, so it's shitty pavement. That's, that, that's not, shit. you know, a lot of neighborhoods are like that, though. That's not awful. No, he, he was on his stoop. Oh, okay. So here he that is. That cracked pavement ah, was his driveway. This asshole's oh, got this yeah, fix cross. that shit up, homie. Let's see if this is actually, hurts. if it's funny at all. <laughs> uh, what's he doing? 
he's pointing the camera at the ground, which is a no-no in a walk and talk. Yeah. It's not interesting uh, it's enough. Taking forever to cross this fucking street. Okay, Jack the Ripper says the NFL screwed itself by taking sides. Of the yeah, I know. My they shouldn't. Don't even open. get involved in it. With the take a knee shit. Yeah. They don't get involved. It's stupid. Everything. It's all fucking mush. Oh, with the fucking traffic. Yeah, this looks like Rhode Island. Oh fuck yeah. But he's yeah, not showing us man. anything. They're doing the jokes. Yeah, what the fuck's he at the bus stop? What the hell is this? He's really he, doing a great job. Jack the Ripper. Nobody, nobody wanted him to be involved. That's the point. Is that the Burger King? I think oh, so. Across, this is a donut shop. What store is he? He's in a. This is a store. I I want to say too. I think he leaked where he lives. <laughs> Yeah, can he's, we find out where he's this so store is? He's so stupid. I think he fucking leaked where he lives cuz I really hope there's no sign or anything for this this store. You still there? Shit, I lost him. Let's see if we can get him back on. I'm doing a live stream. <laughs> I'm doing a live stream. <laughs> Two Gatorades. Starts his day off with Gatorade from a convenience store. <laughs> what up, D Rock? Uh, oh my god. This lemon water shit. I gotta go over his Twitter every day, I think. Right, I think I lost the yeah. collar, but whatever. This is good. Look at how fucking bad this store is. Fuck yeah. Butterfingers, ooh, that's nutritious. Nah, I need it. Ooh, Dasani. Oh, he didn't pay the guy either. I think he's got a tab there. That's how much of a bum he is. Oof. Oh, yeah, dog. Great neighborhood. <laughs> oh, gonna make it. So, did you talk at all during this, Soundsy? He goes right back to his hovel. Uh, He's living shit, in a hovel. Yeah, Ooh, what's that trailer outside? Hey, motherfuckers, that's all the. So you... What is that on your uh, porch? Are those diapers? Did someone steal a case, couple cases of diapers for you? You get to see the amazing life I lead. <laughs> Ooh, that looks like one of those poor houses. Yikes, man. Yikes. Oof. Alright, let's show you Tara real quick. Put it in the chat. I don't know what the fuck this is from Richie Ross. That's Tara, everybody. And, uh, here you go for the chat. Oh, someone killed me while I was playing. Whatever. You can get our website there, guys. It's promotion. Promoting you right now. Holy shit. I can't believe he did that. And it was it, it was terrible. Wow. Absolute fucking dreck. It's another one? Oh my god, look at how dirty that screen is. You can't even see out of it. Dude, delete your fucking failed videos that you accidentally posted. LOL, my stream last night didn't post on Periscope. I was testing it. I gotta redo the sign on my laptop. Wow. Did this get any love to the tweet? No. None to be had. Right, I'm gonna kick one more game. 
Yeah, dude, he walked right out of his house, like, right out of the hovel into the street. He leaked to where he lives. Fuck, I need a Gatorade. Brother man, brother man. That's his driveway. Oh, God, too, Fuck, too I hate hot. this street. Sporadic fucking traffic and shit. Is he wearing them Shaquille O'Neal J's, dog? Them knockoff J's? Whee! Mm. Well, this has been great. This has been a great day. You guys still with me? We're getting me. It's been more entertaining than Jimmer's show in the last fucking ten months. Or however long the guy's been doing it. And same with Sanzi. Let's see your balloon knot now. Yeah. Now that we're all alone, let's do that. Let's get pornographic. That's pretty ritzy $400 a month budget. <laughs> he should ride a skateboard there. He should do something. I don't know. That is just... Like, you, you shouldn't be proud of that. Ooh, look at this cute woman. Imagine this. If I ever saw this in my chat, you know what I'd do. Kumia follows her. Of course he follows her. That's his ex-wife. Alright. You can follow my personal page at Unbleached. 400 followers. Strong dog. Beep, beep, beep. Ooh, that was great. What a great stream tonight. What a fun fucking thing it's gonna be. Super overtime today. Yeah, I, I'll probably do something short tomorrow, I guess. Because I gotta do on Bleach Saturday. But I don't know. I just never turned the stream off today, I think. That's what it was. Alright, I got double chests up here. Double chests, cocksucker. Sock cocker. I guess you can't say cocksucker anymore. Jim Norton doesn't want it. Oh shit. This motherfucker. Bitch. Eat that. Eat that shit. Oh, and he had the high powered fucking assault fucking banger too. That was a quick kill. Dude, seriously, I want to end. If I end tonight on a fucking Fortnite win, how epic would that fucking be? Keemstar did it while he got swatted. Damn, dog. All right, that's enough. I guess that's it today. Thank you guys for hanging. It's been fucking crazy, man. We were on for uh, on the desktop today. Jesus, ten hours and forty-five minutes. And I think I was on my uh, mobile stream, probably six of those. So, holy shit. We did a little half and half tonight. It's been super fun. Super overtime, yeah. The fun never ends, honestly. If people think I'm boring, I think I disprove that today. Like they say that to hurt my feelings. I get it. But, woo, time to use that EBT. Peace, dogs. Uh, we'll see you next time.